Hi, my name is Reese. And my name is Liz. And we are both currently volunteers at Citizen Science Community Resources. Now today, we will be going over the new 2019 Community Soil Sampling Toolkit. As many residents of the community know, there has been a lot of pollution in the Tonawana region. While some of this pollution, such as benzene, is volatile and dissipates when the source of pollution is stopped, other pollutants may linger in the environment. These pollutants include metals and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These can have adverse health effects for those who are exposed. So if you do have concerns about whether these contaminants are present in your soil of the garden or your backyard, then this Community Soil Sampling Toolkit can help get you clear answers on what is in your soil and how to protect yourself and your family from these pollutants. The Community Soil Sampling Toolkit then provides you with the tools and information so you can sample your own property for your environmental toxins using established procedures and protocols. Citizen Science Community Resources then can help you guide you in the interpretation of these results and provide you with the tools and further assistance to advocate for environmental health and justice. So the toolkit contains the following items. First, you wanna check the binder in the toolkit. This contains important documents and instructions. The chain of custody and the site forms will be in the binder, and both of these forms must be completed for the sample to be processed. Pens, Sharpies, and a clipboard are also included to help fill out these forms. The toolkit will contain gloves. Before you begin the soil sampling, it's very important to put on gloves. Flags are used to mark where the soil is taken from. If you are using the five-point testing method, a tape measure is also included to help properly place the flags. A stainless steel trowel is included, and this is used to take the soil sample. A stainless steel bowl and spoon will be included in the toolkit, and these are used to mix the samples together once all of the samples have been taken. Three amber jars are included in the toolkit. These are used to place the soil in that will be sent for testing. Once the soil sample is taken, labels are used to identify the sample and to seal the jar. The amber jars are then placed back into the small cooler with a bag of ice. Ice is not included in the toolkit. The toolkit also includes alkanox, a scrub brush, garbage bags, and disposable towels. These are used to help clean up when you are finished with the soil sampling. The kit will come in a five gallon plastic bucket with a lid and will also have a first aid kit. Now, if you are interested in using this toolkit, we will be lending it out in the Western New York area in the upcoming months. Or if you would like to purchase a toolkit of your very own, you can visit our website at csresources.org. Now we have partnered with Test America to provide you with affordable soil testing and analysis. All of this information, including a price list, is actually included in our manual or by contacting now, to learn more, to purchase a toolkit, or to sign up for the Lending Library, please visit our website at csresources.org. Thank you.